Hello everyone, welcome back to Gajroid Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Maiden NFL24 network connection error can't connect to EA servers and connectivity issue on your PC and how we can fix this app so let's dive into this the first one is all about when you are having this issue all you have to do is the first one you have to cross check hence it is related to the connection you have to cross check whether you are going through any kind of outages or not Right now over here as you can see if you are going through any kind of outages you will be getting all the details from here as well as if you go to the tutor over here in the EA help you will be able to understand whether you are going through any kind of server issues or whether you are going through any kind of these issues so all will be shared here so you just need to cross check this and once you cross check this it is all done with the server if the issue is not with the server the next one we have to follow the instruction and one among them is all about we have to do a simple restart. For doing a simple restart, we have to go over here in the start, over here click on this particular icon, click on the power icon and go for a restart. So once the restart is successfully done, just try launch the game and that will be working fine for you guys as well. So restarting worked for many users, so you can try with a restart. Once after restart is done, the next one is all about we need to make sure the date, time, time zone and region are correct on your computer. For this we just need to go over here in the search, we have to go to settings over here. We need to go to time and language, go to date and time, make sure the time and time zone should be turned it on and this has to be turned it on automatically and go back and check the language and region, make sure the region is correct. So if you're from United States, select United States, if you're from United Kingdom, select United Kingdom and you have to select the respective country according to geography and once you set this up, you just need to close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what you need to do is we just need to perform a power cycle which means you have to shut down your computer and what you need to do is we just need to shut down and unplug the power cable and you have to hold the power button on your pc for a few seconds and turn on the wi-fi once again and try connecting which is called we're doing a power cycle for both the pc as well as for the wi-fi router and you have to cross check whether the issue is not with the wi-fi as well and that is what you have to do Next one is we have to allow the game to window security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search. We have to go to the control panel. Now from here, we have to go to the hardware and sound. From here, we have to go to the sound. Sorry, we have to go back. Let me close this. From the control panel, select system and security. From here, we have to go to Windows Defender Firewall. From here, we have to go to allow and airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And from here, we have to select the game Maiden is there so most probably the game will be added so if you are not able to find the game do not worry we can add it by default for adding the game just do like do like this just click on the change settings over here go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local c go to program file x86 go to steam over here go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to go to uh, maiden nfl 24 we have to go over here we have to select the application and go for open and we have to go for add once it is added make sure that this has to be private and public should be selected this should be selected once you select this one you just need to close this and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about we need to disable the manual proxy and this worked for many users we can try this out just go over here in the search go for settings over here go to the network and internet and over here will be able to find the proxies and over here you have to make sure that if it is set up that is uh, the manual proxy is turned it on if you have to turn this off it is very important that is very important for many users when they said it did work out for them so you can try this out and also from the same settings you can also go to the system and you can try out with a troubleshoot keep scrolling down and go to the troubleshoot over here and go to other troubleshooters now from here you can see the network network and internet run a troubleshoot over here sometimes what happens is the troubleshoot will be fixing the issue because uh, troubleshoot fixes a lot of issue in the same way you can fix this up just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game even if it's still it's not working then we just need to try with these commands in the launch option so i'll be providing these commands commands in the description so you don't have to worry we have to copy this and we have to run this up so just go over here search for cmd go for run it as an administrator go for yes so right now we are having this one so just copy the first one that is ip config flush dns we have to copy this we have to paste it and press enter once you're done with this one we have to move to the next one that is ip config release so just copy this and we have to paste it as well press enter once you're done with this one we have to go for next one that is ip config renew just copy each one and run it on the cmd press enter 
once you're done with this one we have to try the next one that is net winsec reset so just copy this and we have to paste it and we have to set enter now we have to go for the next one that is net chint ip reset so just copy this we have to paste it and press enter next one is all about nothing but we have to go over here ip reset over here we have to copy this and we have to paste it as well and we have to press enter next one is nothing but that ipv6 reset just copy this and we have to paste it press enter we have one more thing that is uh, ip tcp reset just copy this and we have to paste it and press enter so once everything is done reset of all the parameters are okay you just need to close this and we have to do a restart once the restart is done just go back to the steam and try launch the game and it will be working fine next one is all about we need to perform a network reset and you have to know the password or else you'll be having the trouble so just go over here in the search go for settings over here go to network and internet from here we have to go to advanced network settings now from here we have to go to over here we have to go for a network reset option now from here we have to go for reset now keep in mind when you do the reset you have to give the password once again so you have to keep in mind you should be knowing the password or else you'll be having the trouble so just reset this close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to try switch to a different network so over here you can see this is the wi-fi so we have to try doing to any other network you can keep on trying so apart from this if you check over here you can see there are many networks so disconnect this or try connecting to this one as well or else you can try with this one try with all these things and that will be working fine for you guys as well last and the least one is all about we can try updating the windows so just go over here in the search and we have to go to the settings once again go to the windows update and check for updates and make sure the windows is up to date and once you update the windows just close this and we have to go back and over here you have to make sure you have to also do try verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties go to install it files and just click on the verify integrity of game file so the verify integrity the game is around 59.89 gb so you have to keep in mind you'll be losing all the uh this will be cross-checking every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so you just need to try with the verify integrity of game file so these are the possible workaround which can be done when it comes to this and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye